gosh. <sighs> I feel so many ways. I feel really excited, nervous, um, but I can't wait to see him down that aisle. <laughs> Adam, do you take Amber to be your wife and promise to love and cherish her forever? I do. Amber, do you take Adam to be your husband and promise to love and cherish him forever? I do. Amber, as you heard from uh, many people that you've met in my life, all of them seem to say I can't believe this day has ever come and I can honestly say I never thought it was going to be my thing either but that was before I met you. You are the woman that I can't wait to spend the rest of my years with and with that I vow to always work as hard as I can to build and continue building this life we have started with one another but above all I vow to be the best husband to you that I can be and I love you. Adam, five and a half years ago, a hunting loving logger picked me up for our first date. As I opened the door to a very big, loud truck, I was greeted by the most adorable, fluffy, floppy eared puppy. The puppy may have piqued my interest, but I soon realized you were the man of my dreams. As you always say, I'm very indecisive when it comes to, well, just about anything. But no matter what, I have always been certain for my love of you. Five years ago, we told each other we loved one another out in the snowy woods, which was just the beginning of our story. You have been my rock through it all. Through college, the loss and grief of my mother, finding my dream job, and planning our wedding and building our home. I love you forever and always to the moon and back. great honor and privilege that I have been given, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss the bride. The light in your eyes comes over me, just like a sunrise. You set a scene, turning my gray skies blue, just like you always do. I don't want anyone else Cause I know there's not anyone else That makes me feel the way you do It's easy to prove I don't want anyone else but you I decided a few years back that I was going to get married and an elderly friend of mine warned me about the three rings of marriage. It's the engagement ring, the wedding ring, and the suffer ring. <laughs> and after a few years of my own marriage and watching these two together, I've come to find out he's completely incorrect. There's no need for it. If you don't want it, you don't need it. I wish you'd do the best. Oh, no, no, no.